today's video we are going to learn about how we can find origin ip of those web applications that are running behind some kind of firewall like the most common uh, and the most used firewall is cloudflare right so you can say that we are going to find origin ip address behind cloudflare web application firewalls but before going into this video if you haven't checked out my previous video in which i have shown you like how we can bypass 403 protection and access sensitive endpoints then go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen also if you are new to our channel and if you don't know about our website which is www.bepractical.tech then you are missing a lot so just go to your browser and type www.bepractical.tech and you will be redirected to this awesome website over here over here we have awesome contents uh, labs services and some of the tools for absolutely free right so you can check it out the link is given in the description as well as you can just copy this link be practical.tech and you will be redirected to the website as you can see server site template injection local file inclusions idors we have so many things and if you go to the cyber security sections we have labs and all of these labs are currently for account takeovers which means how hackers can basically hack into the accounts so let me just open it real quick <coughs> sorry so all of these labs are based on real world scenarios and they are absolutely free to use as you can see over here <coughs> all of these labs are free of course and you can just check out any one of these like for example if i want to hack into the hoax and all of these are also based on real world scenarios right so you can go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description and you can just type bpactual.tech and you will be redirected over here so finally let's get started for this video so for this video i'm going to take a target let's try to hunt and find origin ip address of live applications right so that you will be able to understand more about how we can actually find uh, vulnerabilities how we can actually perform reconnaissance on live applications so the target over here is this so we are going to see how we can find the origin ip address of this particular application so i'm just going to copy it i'm going to paste it so this application uh, this company basically runs a private bug bounty program so if anyone is interested then you can check out their bug bounty program and start hunting on it right for example here we are and now what i want is i want to know what is the ip address behind this particular server right so i want to know the ip address behind web application firewall so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a website which is known as security trials right the link is given in the description and uh, don't worry you just need to type security trials in your browser securitytrails.com and the website will get open right so let us just wait for a few seconds so as you can see this uh, application is also running uh, behind our application firewall right so after that you just need to go to the account section right and here you need to create an account so i have already created mine so i'm just going to log in using that credential of mine let us just wait again and we will be redirected to the dashboard of this application meanwhile as you can see this is the beautiful interface of this particular uh, application right so we have a lot of things that we can do so we can just type the domain ip and we'll be good to go so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it and just copy it and I'm just going to paste it right over here and let's click on search. Now it will try to search everything related to this domain like as you can see it has identified 44 subdomains MX records, NS records, AAA records, nothing found and the interesting data will be in the historical data as you can see these are the ip address of this particular application right so this is the ip address so it has seen just one day ago and it is just three days ago so these are the ip address that we have identified that belongs to this particular application right so now one of these ip address could be the origin ip address of you know the web application right now the main point problem over here is to how to find or how to map the ip address to the uh, domain name right so that instead of the web applications ip address you will be pointed using this ip address it's actually very simple just need to let me just clear the kali linux so you have to uh, you know use linux for that and just type sudo nano etc and host right and let me just see it here it is and over here what you need to do basically is 
you just need to copy the IP address like this right just paste it over here and here type the domain name for example kumu.com now if you use this uh, Kali Linux as a GUI in mode then if you type kumut over there then you will be re redirected to the website using this ip address so let me show you how mm -hmm. so if i type let me go to my graphical user interface mode so it's gonna take some time so here we are right now if i open my browser and if that ip address that we have given is the actual ip address behind kumut then we will be able to go to that website so if i type this let's hit enter and okay so let me just turn off my burp suit real quick uh, let me type it again mood.com let's wait so as you can see we are uh, redirected to the application right so the possibility is now 100 uh, percent high that the ip address is this particular ip address that we have just discovered right so this is how you can find origin ip address behind a uh, web application that is running web application firewalls like cloudflare and etc right now this is only the part one so there are a lot of ways to find you know the ip address behind uh, application that is running some kind of production so this is one of the ways but uh, most of the time or uh, in many cases you'll find that the ip address is not working at all even if the ip address is you know you find the IP address then there is a still possibility that there is no uh, impact of it so you must have to show the impact right in most of the bug bounty cases the denial of service attack is out of scope so uh, one of the main impact of finding origin IP is denial of service attack but if the DOS attack or DDoS attack is out of scope then you won't be able to you know report it to the respective company therefore by origin IP what you can do is you can find some other vulnerabilities that are getting protected by the application web application firewall and then you can use the origin ip address to bypass that that will be a huge advantage for you right so try to go in that way instead of just reporting the ip address directly to the company so that's it this is how you can find <coughs> you can find origin ip address of any uh, application running behind a WAF. Right. So if you have any doubts, if you have any issues, then feel free to comment your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies that are going under cybersecurity and web development. Right. So we'll discuss all, uh, so many things. If you want to discuss something, just join Telegram channel. Also, if you like the way I teach, then I'm currently running two courses on Udemy. So let me show you guys. So the first one is, so let me just open it real quick. So here it is. Right, so the first one is hacking windows with python so you can just search it over here and the second course is related to bug bounty so how you can find account takeover bugs so if you type account takeover and don't worry the link of both these courses has been given in the description right so let me show you so this is the course that I'm talking about. So this one of course is created by me. So as you can see, it's 4.6 rated and currently there are 823 students enrolled already, right? So in this course, you'll learn how to create undetectable payload, how to execute shell commands, download and upload files and access webcam, how black hat hackers can get unauthorized access to Windows machine. So we are going to create a payload basically that could be bypassable by any antivirus till now. And that will be, you know, you'll learn how you can create, how hackers actually hack into windows machine there we have hacking any windows Windows machine and get full access and how we can buy it payload with any files right the second course is account takeover course so as you can see it's 1.5 hour duration and currently 754 students have already enrolled right so you will learn how you can find account takeover vulnerability you will get the overview of account takeover how we can analyze a functionality of any application let's say you find a login functionality and how you can test for different vulnerabilities over there how we can find logical vulnerabilities in that particular functionality we are going to learn the different ways to find account takeovers and we are also going to see some, some real cases of account takeovers on live applications so this course is also fully practical so you will learn a lot of things from here so yeah go ahead and check out this course if you want to the link is given in the description and with that being said thanks for watching